Hey guys, I'm IndyCar driver Stefan Wilson. Welcome to the Thermal Club. We're about to take a few laps in Don Q6, personal Porsche car, around the IndyCar configuration. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We've got the front straight here. We've got the members pit lane, which the members will be using, but that's not the same pit lane. There's two pit lanes here. I'll show you that when we get round to it on the backside. Fast little corner here. Got to compromise the middle, get set up for the exit, because the exit goes really fun, a little chicane over a, over a bump. It's going to be interesting to see how much of those curbs the Indy cars can take, how fast they're going to be able to run through that set of corners. Hard on the brakes. Probably the slowest corner on the track. It's really going to test the traction of the uh, Indy cars on the exit there, especially with a little bit of dust. Hard on the gas on the exit, bring it back over to the left. And don't get fooled here, you've got to carry good speed through the first part and then it tightens up on the exit. Bring it back over to the right, get set up for the chicane. Compromise the way in. Indy cars might be using quite a bit of, of the curb action through there. Late apex, really square off the exit. That's gonna allow you to get back and beat someone back to power. Fastest part of the, of the track, ending up to about 140 miles an hour, hitting the brakes around the 300. The cars are gonna be complaining on the brakes there. Who's gonna be able to get in there the latest? Late apex, set up for this next sequence. Blow the speed in, let it push you out wide, set up the exit. And this is going to be a really interesting part of the course for the Indy cars. Really long duration, sweeping corner. Who's going to get the right balance from the aero and the mechanical to carry the most amount of speed through that set of corners? Coming over this little jump, and then a quick set of right, left, right. How much of the curves are the Indy cars going to be able to use? I doubt you're going to be see, seeing cars pass as easy as that, but uh, certainly a very interesting set of corners. You're going to hug the right side of the track as long as you can here, and then you bring it back over to the left. You're trying to straighten up that brake zone as much as you can. Blow the speed in, let it push you out wide, and that opens up the exit. Looking for that brake marker, about the 400 for us today. Down to second gear. Square off the exit as much as you can, but blow the speed. Car's complaining on power. Getting over to the left now. I really enjoy this set of corners. Got to flow the speed through there. Just miss the apex on the way in. Then focus on getting back to that second apex. In this GT, we can use a lot of that curb. I don't think the Indy cars are going to be using quite that much. Late apex. You can feel how the car, the rear of the car really complains on the way in there. It's going to be very interesting how the Indy cars can get set up. I like to miss this first apex. It pushes me out wide. It helps me get back over to the second apex. Everything's a compromise. You're just trying to set up for the most important parts of the corner. The car's really handling well. It's just neutral. It's got a little bit of oversteer, but that's... Uh, Helping is getting rotated. Really late apex here, trying to set up for that exit. About the start finish line is where I bring it back over to the left. Let 
push you out wide, set up that exit. at the end of the straight there. this lap. 